preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Four years after Barack Obama came to Washington with a promise to bring hope and change, much of America still runs on lean. Here's how some describe their personal state of economic affairs over the past half decade. Roller coaster. Bills, doctor bills. What's changed in four years? Enough for Crystal Wright to remain a strong backer of the president. He is for the people and he's bringing about change. So I think that it's a transition taking place. Factcheck.org found that federal spending has increased by 11.2 percent and some of that spending can be pinned to the duplication of federal programs. According to the Government Accountability Office, the Obama administration and Congress have pulled the plug on just 12 percent of the 300 recommendations made by the GAO to eliminate unnecessary programs. With continued NSA surveillance, lack of transparency, uh, veiled budget threats and veto threats, nothing has changed. One area that can't be measured by numbers is the political climate in Washington. President Obama vowed to end congressional gridlock. Political analyst John Deedy says, yes, the president could do a better job, but Deedy points out the failure is not Obama's alone. You have a lot of these congressional districts that are so polarized, where you have extreme liberal members, extreme conservative members, that you can't have any moderation in the middle. Ratings for Congress have continued to plunge. A recent survey by Rasmussen finds that only 6 percent think Congress is doing a good job. People hate Congress. But their guy isn't the problem. They love their congressman. They hate the entire institution. To see change, take a look at the White House itself. Its value has increased by about 7 percent to almost $300 million. Patrice Sanders, Fox 45 News at 10.